Well, certainly um, uh, two quality road wins uh, against quality opponents uh, this weekend. And um, our kids brought themselves home a, a championship from a tournament. So couldn't be more pleased uh, with the play of our kids. It certainly uh, takes the bad taste out of our game against Milwaukee, but certainly more so uh, the bitter taste from uh, how well they played against you and I and came up short. Uh, with that game. So two games that we had to finish at the end, um, again against a very good uh, Montana team that was undefeated at the time, uh, and then turned around and grinded out a, a victory against uh, UC Irvine uh, as well. So um, just uh, in, a, in a good place uh, with them, uh, and certainly where we are with our progress and the climb in our ladder to continue to improve this young group. Uh, a few players that I want to point out uh, that had big weekends for us. Uh, I think the thing we certainly uh, realized, and certainly um, as a coaching staff, is we have depth. Uh, and, and it's important when you have depth. Uh, and with that depth comes different players that can do different things. Uh, certain players played uh, minutes against uh, Montana. 11 players played uh, minutes against UC Irvine. And Catavia, who played uh, maybe one minute against Montana, played sign a significant 11 minutes. Uh, that felt like 30 minutes against a very athletic UC Irvine. So we have the ability to really kind of move kids around and, and play kids in certain situations with uh, different types of matchups. And so uh, Mickey Stephenson, earned herself a, the a, a all tournament team she had a great weekend we put her into the starting lineup uh, intend to continue that and she had 13 and a half points and seven and a half uh, rebounds uh, over the two games this weekend so she hit some big shots got some big rebounds for us defended inside and out um, the kid has really transitioned from her freshman year to her senior year so couldn't be more excited about where she is right now uh, for us Kayla Beckin uh, obviously, as you know, hit the game-winning shot uh, for us uh, there against UC Irvine. Again, players make plays, and on both ends, that game went back and forth there. And uh, Brooke Lamar found Kayla Beck in there on the left corner, and the kid just was shot ready and, and knocked that shot down. She averaged 10 and a half. Uh, this weekend and uh, went four for six from the three-point line. Again, just hit big shots. She's making big stops defensively, giving us great minutes um, off the bench. And then uh, Marina, uh, 11 and a half points and 8.5 rebounds per game. Everything she does is a little quiet right now, but everything that she does is big in terms of the volume and when she does make plays for us. And then Brooke Lamar, uh, you know, can't say enough about that kid. And certainly our team understands that, um, you know, she's kind of our, our, our energizer, our constant uh, factor for us out there, makes our players better, and certainly had to do that against UC Irvine because she's got everybody. She's drawn all kinds of attention and didn't shoot it particularly well. But boy, we told her at halftime, all you need to do is get assists for your teammates. And ended up with 11 assists and credit our kids for being shot ready, attack ready uh, when she was drawing so much contact. So, uh, you know, again, yes, pointed out four kids, but certainly it took all 12 of us uh, to make that happen. And it, it started well before the tournament. It started with the preparation we had up until uh, game time and certainly the short turnaround. It gave us experience on, you know, how we're going to prepare for tournaments and what our kids need to do and being able to, again, continue with this young group and developing them. I like what we're doing and I like where we're at. So, you know, we had two games where we had to finish it. We did that. Um, and you know what? There's a lot of work to be done. And we got two quality opponents again this weekend. Certainly Air Force is a bunch of kids that play relentlessly. Uh, they're going to play every minute that they're on that court. And then Wyoming right now is 4-1. and one. They just dropped a game to USD. But again, uh, Joe just got his 200th win here a couple nights ago. And so uh, isn't easy to beat. But um, we'll, we'll go back to work here and continue to improve on Saint things uh, that we saw uh, from this weekend and uh, see if we can put our best foot forward come uh, Friday against Air Force. Coach, is Brooklyn even better than you hope for? Well, you certainly want a point guard that can play like that. Uh, so you, you don't know that, you know, last year watching her, you know, being on the uh, practice squad, uh, you saw some things, but you really didn't know what you were going to get until you can put her in with your players. And so she certainly has become more than what uh, we should have, we certainly hoped for uh, and is certainly um, coming to fruition for us. And our, our players are excited about the role that she plays for us. Talk about her decision to come here. Uh, what factored into that? Why did she want to choose NDSU? Well, um, we ended up with a, uh, a release and followed up with a phone call. Uh, and got on Synergy, which is a film exchange program that we subscribe to and watched over 100 to 200 clips on her and knew right then that she's somebody we wanted to get on uh, quickly uh, and ended up 
being able to get her out here on a campus visit in the summer in June, which is when we ran our camps. So all of our players were here. Uh, and she just really fell in love with our kids. I mean, our kids did a, they, they're just, if it's the right fit, then, you know, you fall right into that group. And our kids sold her on just who they are uh, and where they were headed and what they wanted to do. And so she just felt very comfortable uh, with the direction we're going and the kids that we have in the program. And she's here, thankfully. Nick, you must have done something in the last week or two to get a starting bird. What, what, what was that or has it been a matter of the last week or two? Um, it's just, again, you know, when you got a young group and, um, you know, would we have one returning starter really with Marina? You're still just trying to um, tinker with a few things. Uh, again, just watching a lot of film and evaluating your personnel and you work on it in practice with different type of lineups and you kind of stat some things and you kind of have a feel for things and there's something that Mickey was kind of giving us obviously off the bench and sometimes like a Kayla Beckin, you know, you hate what you're getting off the bench with that type of production to then putting into the starting lineup. Uh, and so that, I kind of went back and forth with that and in the conversations with the coaches and we're just like, you know what, give her a shot. And you know what, she played 30 minutes uh, and was just making big plays and big shots and took on even the best players on both teams too in terms of things defensively. So, And she's our most experienced kid returning in our program. So she gets it and what we're trying to do offensively and defensively and that can go a long way in her being able to play minutes for us. Being a point guard and leading the team in scoring, do you give her a lot of free reign out there on the court and as to a lot of the decision making, whether to take a shot or not? Uh, she's got the green light. You know, really all of our kids have the green light. Um, and we certainly talk about, you know, good shot selection versus maybe not, uh, we could get a better one in that possession. And so she, she certainly has to have the green light because she has to be defended first and foremost with the things that we do. And that's what we talked about when we first recruited her. Uh, and then when she signed is you're going to have to improve your First of all, your outside shot. And secondly, because you're a driver. Everything you do is at the basket. So people are just going to play off you, and we're going to have to play. We don't want to play four on five. So you have to be able to shoot the perimeter shot. Uh, and she spent countless hours. If you, you know, if you were in the BSA, she was always in there uh, getting up shots, and that's what she's done. She's improved her outside shooting, and so now she has to be defended. And now that she's scoring and drawing so much attention, now she's drawing two or three players. And so now our other kids are being the you know, benefactors of her drawing so much attention. So as long as she continues to take the right shots, then she continues to have the green light, and then she's able to make the uh, plays out of that when she's engaging other kids. Coach, if and when Brooke is maybe in foul trouble or can't be on the floor, who does your team look to as an on-the-floor leader when she's on the bench? Uh, Bree Watman, uh, and obviously Kayla Beckin has that experience too, but um, it would go to Bree Watman first, and then Kayla Beckin continues to play the off guard. And if Bree Watman you know, steps off, then uh, Kayla Beckin. And, and there's some, been some thought about Hannah Bresky too. Uh, you know, because of her length and just the kid's a basketball player. So really, we have four kids that we could really honestly use, you know, at that point guard position. But certainly Bree Watman has played it at the, you know, when she was over um, in, in Australia. And so, and she's very comfortable uh, playing the point guard position. So it's nice to have the luxury to really be able to go to three kids if we, if we had to. Um, let's say that Kayla Beckin has only eaten hamburgers twice in her life, and that was the second hamburger, and she absolutely loves it now. So, you know, you, it's something, you know, when you go to California, it, you, you have to eat an In-N-Out burger. But, so, no, they, obviously they enjoyed themselves. Twitter's a wonderful thing. Isn't Twitter a wonderful thing? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks,